As you browse the web, ThinkLink highlights snippets that make or imply claims that are disputed. If you move your mouse over a snippet, ThinkLink displays a tooltip telling you what disputed claim it thinks the snippet is making. If you click on a snippet, ThinkLink displays an argument graph with links to snippets on other sites that either support this claim or put forward an alternative point of view. You can click on things in this interface to view them in more detail. If you click on a snippet, ThinkLink shows the snippet in the textual context in which it appeared on another site. You can click on the link to see the, the original page the snippet is from. If you acknowledge that this claim is disputed and don't wish to see snippets that make this claim highlighted in the future, click Don't Highlight This Claim and ThinkLink will not highlight snippets and make this claim again. If you want to browse the claim graph in a full window, click Open Full Interface. The full window interface shows information about the topics, claims and snippets that have been gathered by all users of ThinkLink. When showing information for a claim, you can see the information that supports that claim being true, and information which is evidence in favour of other points of view, and also other related information, including other claims and other snippets. The order in which information is shown is decided by the voting of all users of ThinkLink. You can vote for information being useful, by voting up, or voting for information being not useful by voting down. As more users vote, all users see a more useful list of information supporting and opposing each claim. If you read something on the web that you believe is disputed, you can mark it as a disputed snippet by selecting it, right-clicking, and clicking on this is disputed. You can also mark a snippet as interesting if you believe the snippet contains useful evidence that you want to use to support a point of view. Initially, when you create a snippet, it is highlighted in blue to indicate that the snippet is not yet associated with any claim. ThinkLink provides several ways that you can associate a snippet with a claim. In the Claim Browser, you can click on the Unfiled tab to see the snippets you have not yet filed. If you click on a snippet, ThinkLink will suggest claims that it thinks the snippet might be making. You can preview a, a claim by clicking on the claim, and you can select the claim the snippet is making by clicking on one of these icons. It can support the claim, oppose the claim, or just be related to the claim. You can then go through the rest of your snippets and attach them to claims as well. Another way to associate snippets with claims is to use the claim first approach. You can browse to a claim that you think is important, then click link to snippet, and ThinkLink will suggest snippets that you have marked that it believes might be appropriate. You can also show recent snippets, so just show snippets in order in which you marked them. You can then mark one or more of these snippets as supporting the claim by clicking on one of the three icons. In this case, I'm going to mark that one, and that one, and that one, all together. You can also select a claim for a snippet at the point at which you create it. Click on the highlighted blue text and use the pop-up window to select the claims it's making.